Hello there and welcome to another video from Change Tips and Tools. And today we're going to look at a typical request that you get from your boss where for example they take uh, the data, so we've got our sales data here by month for 2023 from January to December for all our widgets based on an order reference, we've got units sold and profit etc. And our boss has asked us to summarize that data into this format here. So they want the, the month, they then want the, the widget sold in that month and the order reference in one cell, and then what the total uh, units sold are and what the total profit is for that month. So getting these values here is pretty easy, but getting multiple columns and cells uh, and rows into a single cell is slightly more complicated. So I'm going to show you two ways of doing this. I'm going to show you the more manual, slower approach, and then I will show you the much faster automated approach. And I'll let you decide which one you prefer. So let's do this. So let's take the data. First thing I'm going to do is, as you know by now with myself, I prefer uh, data ranges to be a table. So I'm going to do control T and I'm going to convert this to a table. On the table design, let's give it a meaningful name. So I'm going to call it TBL sales data and hit return. So it's got a meaningful name there. So the first thing we need is we want our year month order details, units sold and profit. So I'm just going to take these headings here and I'm going to do control copy. And let's do shift control V and take and paste those values only. Uh, let's open, make these a little bit wider. Yeah. So this is going to be a number. And this is going to be currency. So let's get our year and months. So let's go back to our data. So we know it goes from January uh, to December. So I'm just going to select these for the year and month. Do Control Copy, Shift Control V to paste those values. Fantastic. We're motoring along here. Now we'll handle the or the order details. We want the widget. This widget and the order number for that month combined, because that's a little bit more uh, complex. But let's um, look at the, the sum of units sold and profit. Well, that's easy. We want a sum of total units based on the month of January, and we want to sum of the total profit. So what I'm going to do is do equals sum if my range is going to be the month. So I'm just going to hold this. We see that black um, arrow that's pointing down. Select that. And that recognizes it at the table column. I'm going to do comma. My criteria, go back to sheet one, is going to be the month. I'm going to do F4 once and F4 again, just to make it, um, in fact, there we go. Because what I want to do is I want to hold the column. So I'm going to drag this across. I'm going to hold the column. Uh, and uh, But I want the row to be uh, dynamic. So And then I'm going to press comma. And my sum range is going to be my units sold. Wonderful. And do OK. I then just double click, copy that down. There we go. So we've got our unit sold. Let's do the same for the profit. I'm going to do equals. If I just do the formula to be honest, it's just quick. So again, sum if my range is going to be the month, comma, back to sheet one. It's going to be that sale. Do comma. I don't need to come up copying it across. Uh, and the actual uh, sum range is going to be the profit. So again, black arrow. There you go. Close that bracket and let's just copy that down. Right, wonderful. So now I need to get the order details. 
So let's look at how we can do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my data. And I'm going to filter my table just on January, like so, and click OK. So there I've got them, the widget and the, uh, the order number. So I should be able to just do Control Copy. Then up here on the top left, if I just expand out the click the, uh, the clipboard here, so I've got this. If I then go back to Sheet 1, if I press F2 to go into Cell Edit Mode, and then over here just do Paste All and hit Return. If we just make that a little bit wider. So that's worked, but you'll notice I haven't got a space between the, um, the widget reference and the order reference. So uh, let me just delete that there. I'm going to clear that. So I need to enter a space. So all I'm going to do is cheat here. So let's take this filter off. So I'm going to do data, clear filter to make sure all filters are off. And then to the uh, on click on order number, I'm going to right click and do insert columns to the left. So I've got column one there. I don't need to name it. I'm just going to do equals open quotation mark space then quotation mark, and that'll put a space all the way down. Then I filter on January again. Click. OK, I then grab with that column one and do control copy. I then go to uh, sheet one again, do F2 to go into edit mode on that cell and then do paste all, hit return, and there you go, it's done it. So let's just make sure that those are all aligned. So on the home ribbon, I'm just going to top align everything and then. Okay, so that worked. So let's now do February. So let's clear all here. Go back to my data. Change this to February. Again, I'm going to copy that data there, like so. Do Control C for Control Copy. Go back to the sheet. Select the next cell. Do F2 to go into Edit Mode. Then do Paste All. And hit return and there you go done but let's do um, March as well again just fill the table on March and do okay again I'm just going to grab those do control copy Back to sheet one and again in fact I need to clear all because it'll just copy both of those from the clipboard I'm going to do control copy again so I've just got the one F2 go in edit mode then paste all hit return and there you go so that is one way of doing it. So if I just take this now and do control copy, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do uh, control and V because I want the the um, the formatting. I'm going to do shift control V just to paste the values only. Yeah. So then what I'm going to do is just make this a little bit wider. Make that a little bit wider. And then what I'm going to do is shift control to the right and down. I'm just going to delete that. Let me show you there is an actually much quicker way than doing it this way. So there you've learned how to copy and paste multiple rows and columns into a single cell. If I just close my clipboard down like so. There is a much quicker way of doing this. So if I go to my data and with my my this table, it's going to take the filter off. So I go to data and then do clear that filter. Make that a little bit bigger. 
a little bit bigger. So there's the data. I'll leave the column one in where we put that spice in. We don't really need it, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do with this anywhere in the table selected on the dates ribbon, I'm going to do from table and range. I want to group it by um, year and month, so I'm going to select those two columns. First thing I'm going to do is I want widget and order number actually, I want those merged together. So I'm going to take those, select widget, hold down my control key, select order number, go to the transform ribbon, do merge columns. As far as the separator, I'm just going to have a space and I'm going to call it uh, order details, like so and hit return. So I've now merged them together. I'm then going to select year and month columns, right click and do group by. So I'm going to group it by year and month. So the first new column is going to be order details. Yeah. And I'm going to, the operation is going to be sum and I'm going to sum the order details, that merge column that we've just created. I'm then going to add another aggregation. This one is going to be uh, units sold. Yeah. And that's also going to be a sum. And that's going to be a sum of units sold. So by month, year and month, what's the total sum of units sold? Then I'm going to do another ag aggregation, and this is going to be my profit. Do sum, and I'm going to sum my profit column. Now, when I click OK, it will give me the totals by month and year for units sold and profit, but I'm going to get an error message for order details because that's a text column. So it can't sum a text column. But watch this, if I do OK, there's the error. There is our unit sold and profit, which is great. I'm then going to go to View, select Advanced Editor, and I'm going to look along here, and you can see this order details here, text here, then for each list.sum, um, I'm going to click just to the right of that sum and I'm going to backspace to delete it and then I'm going to start typing lines and from this drop down I'm going to do lines to text I'm going to select that and I'm going to do done and there you go it's now created that information and if I go to home close and load it's created this table here. And if I just take this and do a control copy and go to my sheet one again and go to here and do shift control V, look at that. It's done that and looks exactly the same to me what's over on the left, except if I go down and let's just make sure everything is wrapped like so and boom done everything for us in an instant so there you go two ways of getting multiple cells into uh, and columns into a single row and summarizing data um, which way would you choose let me know in the comments I hope this has been helpful and informative um, and please remember to click that like subscribe and smash that notifications button for future content and as always, I wish you an absolutely wonderful day wherever you are in the world. Please take care and I look forward to seeing you in the next video from Change Tips and Tools. Bye bye now.